It's time now for our daily need to know feature where a team of experts is ready to answer all your questions on finance, economics and money. Remember, you can also send those questions to us via email to moneyline at enca.com. In the spirit of planning for the future, tonight's question is from Elizabeth, who asked, what is the difference between a retirement fund and a provident fund? Tracy Jensen, who is product architect at 10X Investments, answered this question for us. A provident fund allows you to save your employer to contribute up to 20% at, during your working life, 20% of your salary tax-free, and then that grows, the returns grow without paying tax, and then at retirement you can choose how to invest it depending on how you take that money, you may or may not be liable for tax. You can see there's a lot of tax breaks the government gives you to encourage you to save. With the retirement annuity, it's a little bit different. You can only put away up to 15% of your salary tax-free. And then that's also a little bit different because they, they were going to simplify legislation, but that's been delayed till further consultation with unions. So currently it's 15% of non-pensionable salary. So just to break that down a bit, what it means is if I don't have any contributions to a pension, then my full salary is non-pensionable. But if I'm already contributing to a pension or provident fund with my work, then most of that salary is probably pensionable and there won't be additional tax breaks. Um, some other differences are also at retirement. So at retirement in a provident fund, you can take up to the full amount if you want in cash, whereas in a retirement annuity, you may only take up to a third in cash and the other two thirds, you have to buy an income that's going to give you a retirement income for your life. Let's have a look at the markets now, starting in the United States, where markets had a volatile day following a four-day drop in the S&P 500. Mining companies rallied with copper and gold offsetting a slump in banks. In Europe, markets traded up ahead of the European Central Bank's policy meeting next week, at which members will discuss quantitative easing and other stimulus measures for the region. That meeting will be made even more interesting by the unexpected decision by the central, the Swiss Central Bank to let its currency float against the euro today. Here at home, the JSC closed higher after a volatile session. The gold index led the gainers, ending 4.3% higher, resources up 3.7%. Some traders were saying they hadn't seen today's volatility since uh, 2008. And looking at commodities, oil gained ground along with other commodities today, tracking advances in gold and platinum. On the currency market, trade in the rand, also volatile after that surprise move by the Swiss Central Bank. And that's where we leave it tonight. Thank you for watching. We value your feedback, so send that to us via email on moneyline at enca.com. You can tweet us using the handle at ENCA News with the hashtag ENCA Moneyline. Until tomorrow, good night.